know it might be wrong, but I'm in love with Stacy's mom. All right, here we go, dude. We're doing I'm in the this. mouse, and you're the dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you're fine with that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. I'm the girl, and you're the hair. You're the <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say it's like it's like ratatouille, but like with a dog and a m and a mouse. <laughs> a dog chef. Yeah, a dog chef. What's the dog doing? One dog is gonna learn to be a chef. One but dog. He's gonna have a little help. <laughs> one one oh, dog okay. will be taught how to love. Ew. Yeah, because it's Wait, like so the, it, like the rat is teaching the like dog the, the how rat to love? the rat has a, a crush on a on a girl dog. Ew. So so he's like, well, I can't get I can't get with the girl dog because I'm a rat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find this mindless dumbass dog, and by proxy, I'm gonna go on a on a date with the girl dog, while I control the. This is what? Hey, hey, everybody! Welcome to Visual Novas. Let's control some dogs. I'm still processing. <laughs> Here's our patrons. There, there they are. Oh, <laughs> thank you to all our supporters. You're supporting this shit. Do they? Do they? Everything that came out of my mouth just now was specifically supported by every single, like all the people that were on the screen <laughs> a second ago. Good. Yeah. Yeah. All those people just here's wait. So do they? Is the rat's end? Is the sorry mouse? Is the mouse's end game like sex, or is it just to go on a date, like to experience a date with that dog, or do they want like long term relationship goals with the dog? We can talk about this off the time. All of those, worry. all of those, Clay, all, all of the above, all of the above. But it, it, okay, all of the above. Just go. Let's get. Let's just. Go. Let's just get into it. Let's get Thanks, into it. Thanks, patrons. I love you. <laughs> I'd mind control a dog to go on a date with any of you. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> good shit! Wow. Uh, so anyway, uh, we kissed Kyoko. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She kissed us. Oh shit! You're right. You're right. You're yep. right. You're right. Oh my Reddy god. Is not gonna be too happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> the guy said in red. It said, "Do not let the girl kiss you first. Whatever mm -hmm. you do, do not let her kiss you first. But <sighs> here we are. When I finally fall asleep that night, my mind lingers on images of Kyoko's lips. <laughs> Not the ones on her face. <laughs> <laughs> I see her eyes closed, fingers resting gently against my cheek. Not the one on my face. As she leans in slowly, slowly. That distinctive taste of plump sake dances on the tip of my tongue. Okay, buddy. Part of me is afraid that now... Wait. Part of me is afraid that now I finally have what I want. Um, it'll slip through my fingers with the coming of the dawn. What if that snatched kiss was nothing more than an illusion? That's right! I fooled you! It is I, the kiss wizard! <laughs> Holy I... shit, the kiss wizard! That's right, I'm friends with the twig... Whatever the <laughs> fucking tugger guy. We... Anyway, but I... <laughs> I make kisses happen in your brain, but not in real life. <laughs> Which my parents said was pointless. My dad said I should have been a doctor, but I said, no, 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 no. I'm going to make people think they kissed their neighbors. Oh my god, the most incredible fucking lore world building. <laughs> It's pretty intense. We've also established that this takes place in the same universe as um, a Tofu boyfriend as well. This is a very extensive oh the visual God. Nova's cinematic the, universe. The 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 kiss wizard and the tick and, and the twig tugger are, are are besties and they run a, a YouTube channel where they play visual novels. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, April Fools. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Everyone pretend I didn't say that, so when it happens, it does. <laughs> Uh, I call Woo. the twig tugger. Oh, and I figured, and I was gonna be kiss because well, I call kiss wizards. So <laughs> okay, <sorry>. cool. <laughs> Woo, okay, all right. <laughs> oh my god, that drained all the fucking oxygen out of my brain. <laughs> let's 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 just cut here. <laughs> That's sorry, the episode. Buddy. That's the fucking episode. That's it. There we go. A desperate daydream. 
I feel like I was gonna make a joke, but the whole Kiss Wizard shit just completely <laughs> fucking. I'm sorry. Oh, that knocked me on my ass, dude. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> it's impossible to tell. Nothing feels real anymore. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. <laughs> a distant memory that feels like a far off dream. Uh, you know. If you know, you yeah. know. If you know, you know. Yeah. That's the mouse singing to the. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. Let's just go. As I predicted, uh. when the following morning arrives. Mitsuki, Mitsuki, wake up! T Tama, g get off me! Wait, so I'll well, I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll find out, or maybe we won't. But I like the idea of them having this really long kiss as he's like giving narrative to it. Yeah. And then they're done, and she's like, "Well, good night," and then just yeah. goes to bed. And he's like, "All right, cool, good night." Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, anyway. she she does to him what Himeno did to Denji and Chainsaw Man after yes. bit, after she was drinking. <laughs> if you know, you know. Ah, right, come on, guys, come on. Uh. Won't get off. Oh, yeah. Huh? You, you wouldn't get off last night. Wake up. Oh, Wake God. Up. It's time for breakfast. That's what my mom said. I don't know. Wake up. Come on, Tama. Don't jump on Mitsuki like that. You're getting to be a big girl and you'll hurt him. Or I'll hurt you. I'm not hurting him. I'm trying to help. I'm a doctor. Oh, okay. And how is breaking one of his ribs going to help, little madam? Because then he'll be able to suck his own dick. Yeah. I'm trying to help you both here! <laughs> he needs to get up and have his fucking breakfast, otherwise he'll starve. Look at him. <laughs> Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? That's as though nothing ever happened! I wash my face in the bathroom, brush my teeth, then put on the yukata I wore yesterday. With Come throw up on it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, two different directions that went the same fucking way. Oh, bless. Oh, the two Himuros and I go to the small restaurant located outside the inn, where we, where we partake in a very traditional Japanese breakfast. White rice, grilled fish, pickled plums, raw egg, and miso soup. Mm. As we eat, Tama chatters 19 to... Tama chatters 19 to the dozen about what? whatever pops into her head. That, I have never heard I've that fucking saying in my whole that, life. Okay, keep going. I'm sorry. I'm gonna... <laughs> Kyoko indulges her laughing at her daughter's jokes and patting her on the head. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Kyoko doesn't talk to me about the kiss. In fact, she doesn't even seem to remember it. After breakfast, we return to our room and change into our casual clothes. Kyoko packs a suitcase and I hasten to help her. All right, everyone, we're taking a quick pause. It's time for Connor's Learning Corner. Yay! Ed, throw up my usual Learning Corner title card here. Okay, there it is. Make you two hours extra of work. So, um, uh, so talk 19 to the dozen. It refers to when someone talks, uh, you know, very quickly without stopping, which, you know, contextually we can figure out, but the origins of which... Uh, is that it, it, it was in reference to uh, how a steam engine that was running or going 19 to the dozen was pumping out 1,900 gallons of water while burning only 12 bushels of coal. Wow. So, how the fuck does he know about that? That sounds like some 18 aught shit. Well, I mean, he has been 23 for fucking 300 years. That's true. So, there you go. Anyway, I think it's fresh when I hand her Thomas folded pajamas, but Kyoko doesn't even blush. She merely smiles and thanks me for my service. <laughs> we check out of the Ryokan before midday. The sun is high in the sky, warm and bright like the yolk of the raw eggs we ate at breakfast. The three of us walk back to the station. Tom in the middle, our fingers entwined. The wind catches in Kyoko's hair, making it flutter behind her like a veil, and her long skirt dances around her ankles during the descent downhill. 
The soles of our shoes strike against the ground in almost perfect harmony. A medley of gentle thuds. Okay, dude. Wow. To anybody who happens to see us walking down the hill or across the street or waiting at the station, we must look like the quintessential happy family. So completely normal, it borders on cliché. Wow, honey, look at those three over there. Ah, they're looking pretty nice. I bet they don't have any weird sexual tension going on or unrequited feelings or conversations they should have had in the morning. Exactly, okay. exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mommy and Daddy and me. Ew. <laughs> That's what Thomas see that's what Thomas <laughs> seems to see us as, but that isn't entirely accurate. I'm not Thomas Daddy, no matter what she tells her classmates. We're not a real family! <laughs> I'm not a real boy! <laughs> <laughs> Gyoko and I kissed last night, but that moment seems hazy and indistinct when held up to the light of day. Why did Kyoko do it? Is it because she pitted me? Or Dude. was it really the kiss wizard? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't seem quite right. Then again, none of it, none of it really does. Maybe Kyoko didn't know what she was doing. If she had been drinking after all. Wait, she had been drinking after all. Though I don't think she was drinking all that much. It could have, it could have impaired her judgment. Would she have kissed me at any other time, at any other place, without the cover of the night and the smell of plump sake hanging in the air? I don't know. I don't know what to think. Oh, brother. I don't know what to feel. This dude always, like, I'm like, okay, I understand that reaction. And then he goes ten feet deeper into a hole. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. This dude okay, loves to that. fucking, like, self-sabotage himself at, like, any, yeah. any given opportunity. Yeah, the slightest breeze. Yeah. But I do know whether Kyoko's kiss was an expression of love, a token of, of appreciation, or a mere whim. I don't begrudge, begrudge her for it. How could I ever be upset with her when I care about her so much? I just wish I knew- Oh my god, dude, okay. Hey, do you ever kiss somebody on the lips as a fucking prank? Yeah. All the time, right? Yeah, dude, all the time. Got him. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Fucking uh, place tonsil hockey with you. Haha, -ha, gotcha, bro. <laughs> you fucking kissed me, dude. Ah, Your feelings, you dude. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, oh now I have you no suck idea. at Call of Duty and you <laughs> suck at this. Ah. Oh, and I have no idea what to think. Maybe Kyoko did prank my ass after all. It doesn't help that I woke up with beard hairs in my mouth. Wait, what? Beard <laughs> hairs? Kiss wizard! <laughs> it wasn't me! <laughs> <laughs> Prove it, fucker! Not this time, at least. <laughs> The summer days trickle by like sand in an hourglass, and I soon fall into a comfortable routine. I spend most of the time babysitting Tama, I take her to the park, watch magical uh, magical girl shows by her side, and teach her how to cook. In the evenings, when Kyoko comes home from work, the three of us eat together, just like a family, family, family. Oh. Tama tells Kyoko excitedly about her day, and Kyoko smiles and knots her hair in appropriate pl What? What? I guess like appropriate <laughs> places of the story? <laughs> uh. Then Kyoko assumes her role as my teacher and runs through my English vocab. The days are very slow and relaxing, almost seeming to melt into one another. I'm not unhappy. In fact, I'm rather pleased with the way things are. But, and this might be my imagination, I don't feel as close to Kyoko as I did before. Oh no. She's still helping me study, but it feels like she's keeping me at a distance. On the rare occasions that our shoulders brush, our fingers touch when we turn the page of, uh, or our fingers touch when we turn the page of my textbook, she recoils. Yeah. And Kyoko isn't being unkind. In fact, it's anything but. We've been spending more time together than ever before, but something is subtly 
Su wait, yeah, right? That's what you, that's what you said? Subly? Su subly? Subly. Subly. Something is subtly off about our interactions in a way I can't quite describe. What happened? <laughs> what happened? What happened? What changed? It seems like Kyoko can't remember the kiss. But why is she behaving so differently around me? She isn't being aloof or cold, but uh, maybe she doesn't want to lead me on. Perhaps this is her attempt at showing me kindness. She doesn't want Dude. to be involved in a relationship with me, so she's doing her best to draw back while it isn't too late. Is that it? I wish I knew. And so my summer vacation nears its inevitable end, bringing with it my biggest challenge yet. High school. Yeah. Again. <laughs> Come on, Tom, I have to do your summer homework. Boo, get ah. fucked. Tama lies on the floor and kicks her bare feet. I don't want You might not want to, but you have to. School starts next Monday, and you have so much left to do. I look at the sack of books piled up on the table and sigh. To be honest, I was thinking giving such a... I what? Uh, to be honest, I think giving such a young girl so much work is a bit excessive. I don't remember having to do so much to- I don't remember having so much to do when I was a kid, but maybe I've erased those painful memories from my mind. I never liked doing my summer homework either. As a matter of fact, I burned it. <coughs> Does any kid? All the same, I am an adult, and I can't let Tama slack off. I don't think Kyoko would appreciate it if I let her only daughter fall into a life of degeneracy, especially at the tender age of six. Damn. Come on, Tama, you need to make a fire! Oh, I'll do that. Ugh, no, there's no point. It's not enough time. You've still got another five days. You can do it if you really try. But I don't want to do it. So. Oh, understandable. Have a nice day. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Your school wants you to do it. Ugh, my school is cage to go to class, even though it's a huge, smelly fuck. My school doesn't know anything. And at point, Keiji really is a huge, smelly fuck. Huge, smelly fuck. There's too much work to do, Mitsuki. I can't handle it. I mean, I can't do it. <laughs> Well, maybe not with that attitude. Where's the positive Tom I like so much, who always does her best? I killed her weeks ago. Holy shit! <laughs> she died when I found out Santa Claus wasn't real. Yeah. Gun! Gun where? I mean, where'd she die? Can you point me to her grave? I'd like to at She's least bring her some flowers. She's all around us, Mitsuki. Oh, she's in the air? The water. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she's under the fridge? <laughs> I've got bodies there before. Holy shit! Mama doesn't like it, but... <laughs> it's like the fucking telltale heart. Yeah. Tama, why are you looking at that floor mat? <laughs> can no one you see? Can no one else hear that? The fucking Kokoro of that... Wait, the no. Kokoro? The fucking... The fucking Toki Doki of that Kokoro is the driving me nuts! The Toki Doki of the Kokoro! I, I wish more than life. I wish that was. A, I wish that was this game. It was yeah. a retelling of a Telltale Heart with a six-year-old child. Exactly. <laughs> um, I don't think she'd fit under the fridge. I'm fun at parties, guys. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now sit up. Why don't we go through this together? Ah. Thomas sits up, her legs crossed, and stares at me from across the table. That was fast. You mean, you'll do my homework? For, I mean, you'll help me with my homework? Sure, that's my job! Then will you answer all these math problems for me? The timetables are so boring. <sighs> hey now, let's not go- let's not go- god damn it. Let's not go too far. I fear I might have given Tama the wrong idea. I said I'd help you with your homework, but I'm not going to answer it all for you. That'd defeat the point! 
What point? Of you learning how to solve these questions on your own! You don't think screaming at a child's a good way to do this, but all right. Besides, I don't want to solve these questions on my own. I want you to do it. Oh, uh, maybe not, but you have to. Or else I'll take your gun away. What? No! <laughs> Why do I have to? What gives you the right? Because you're school! I trail off, sighing. <laughs> We're not going to get anywhere if we keep going around in circles like this. Look, just do your homework, okay? Get fucked, you do it for me. What the hell? But it's not mine to do! The only thing I want to do around here is your mom. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've seen the way she recoils from your touch. Oh no! <laughs> That's just a stupid <laughs> lie. <laughs> what part of that was that a lie exactly? The part where you said you were gonna fuck my mom. <laughs> And you won't do my homework, because you don't know how to. You're stupid, Mitsuki. You're stupid, you're dumb. And that's why mom has to tune your stupid dumbass. What the hell? Hey, hey, I'm not stupid. How's college going? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, you must be. You didn't get into university. <laughs> Holy shit. You're a weak, stupid man. <laughs> you, you know about that? You tell it to everyone we run into. Plus, mama told me. <laughs> Yoko, you traitor! I guess the Reddit guy was right. I shouldn't trust women. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, uh, she said she was helping you study so you can get into a big boy school because you haven't gotten in yet. That means you're not a big boy. You're stupid and smelly and you can't help me because mom has to help you. You don't know anything. Hey! How many moons does the sun have? Yeah, exactly. Fuck. My left eye twitches. My showering gun activates. <laughs> <laughs> I might <laughs> I might not know everything, but I do know some things like this. Check it out. Sukiyomi! Okay. I haven't gotten into university yet, but I'm not so stupid that I can't solve a six-year-old's math problems. Oh yeah? Then prove it. All right, I will. You're stupid. fucking. She just fucking finessed him into doing she her homework after all. Ass. I grab one of Thomas' pencils, ready to prove myself as a real <laughs> man. <T> Trademark. <laughs> oh, oh, that's some good shit. Here's, here's what we're gonna do. If you, if you're, if you're one of our patrons and you're a real man, trademark. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good shit. Why is that trademark? You know. Oh yeah. Okay. I pause. My cheeks start to turn pink, pale, but not the pink. pale kind. No. Y you little shit! You just tried to trick me! <laughs> oh, it worked, didn't it? Aren't you gonna do my homework now, you stupid bitches? <laughs> what, my, my eyes actually red. Whoa. Oh, shit. No! I am not! I don't care if you use Jedi mind tricks on me! Oh, just wait. I throw the pencil on the floor, both embarrassed and ashamed of how easy I was to fool. It's like Thomas a master manipulator, she's just a six-year-old girl, which makes her a master manipulator. <laughs> how was she able to find my weak spot so easily? It's on your back, it's a giant pulsating yellow crystal. I oh, okay. feel like you should put something over it. Look, Tama, I already said I'm not doing your schoolwork. You have to figure it out on my own, and don't bring my glowing yellow crystal into this. <sighs> you never let me talk about your glowing yellow crystal. You know how I feel about it, Tama. <laughs> I know I'm short for my age, <laughs> but I'm not going to let myself get pushed around by you. Check. <laughs> Tama clicks her tongue against the roof of her mouth. What? Well, it's worth a try. You try every trick in the book, you naughty girl. You're as wily as a fox. If only you'd apply some of your intelligence to your work instead of trying to wriggle out of it. Foxes don't wriggle. It's a figure of speech! Now, how can I get Tama to take her homework seriously? 
Offering to help only seemed to make things worse. You don't want to be dumb like me, do you? Do your <laughs> homework. Come on. You don't want to be dumb, stupid, and smelly like me, do you, Tama? Oh, <laughs> God, no. Perhaps I could try flattery? I think you're very smart, Tama. I know you could do this homework if you tried. Why don't you put your mind to it? Then you'll be done in no time. Board is boring. Oh my fucking god. It's a nice day. I want to go outside. I want to play in the playground. I want to push kids down the slide. Holy shit. Yeah. I know you want to cyber bully kids in real life, but... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't blame Tama for that. I can hear I can hear a few kids playing outside. Their joyful shrieks <laughs> drifting through the air. <laughs> it sounds like they're having fun. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, more fun than we're having, at least. Hmm. Now this might be a good idea. What about this? <laughs> Takes her gun. Do it! <laughs> yeah. We'll stay inside and work on your math homework for, let's say, 30 minutes. Mm hmm. 30 minutes? 30 minutes? But I don't want to study for 30 minutes. It's like eight years. I know you don't want to, but you have to get it done sooner or later, and I'd prefer sooner. Then, after 30 minutes, we can take a break. We can go and play in the playground. How about it? Oh, you really take me to the park? That's right. I'll play with you lots and lots until you're all worn out. Will you push me on the swings? I'll push you off the edge of a building. Of course! <laughs> Try it. <laughs> and on the roundabout? I'll do my best. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess that doesn't sound too bad. Right! Left! Oh. We can do your homework for a bit, then play in the playground. Then come back and study a bit more! We'll get lots done that way, and you'll get a reward for all your hard work. It's perfect! Hmm. Relieved that we'd managed to form some kind of peace treaty, and all it took was a bribe. I reach across the table, ready to shake Thomas' pudgy little hand! Damn! Punchy little hand. I want to seal our newfound deal officially. Tama, however, has other ideas. Wait, wait a second. What is it now? I'll do my work. I'll do all my math. I'll even get started on my Japanese report, but... Tama's eyes flash with the same fire they did when she was going... She was goading me only two minutes ago. They're the eyes of a master shogi player, <laughs> reading the board 10, no, 15 moves in advance to discover the su the surest path to victory. Those eyes... are actually kind of frightening. I'm pissing myself as I think about this. <laughs> I can't look at them, not directly. Or I'll be placed under a genjutsu. <laughs> Time has become much too powerful. If you're gonna make me work that hard, I want a much better reward. A better reward? Like what? Huh. Well, I'm glad you asked, stupid Mitsuki. You already have like 15 guns. <laughs> it's more than a gun. I want you to take me out for an ice cream sundae, Brigitte <laughs> Jandon. What the fuck was that? It's French, you uncultured swine. <laughs> okay. Learn a book, fucking idiot. Uh, and that's exactly what happens. 